All right. Um. So you wanna learn how to get uh, MMD and how to get started. So let's start with that. There we here at Google, and yes, let's press MMD. The place to get it it will be to learn MMD. Uh, com. And here you want to get this link. Download. Okay, mm, you want to scroll down, and if you have a 32 bit version of it, you will get this one, and you have a 64 bit version of it, and then you have more than enough memory, you get this one. This is what I have, this is what I'm going to be using. It sends you to the download section where you in this page is pretty much your go to downloads for everything that's MMD. You'll get not just the program but a bunch of other goodies here in the bottom. I'll talk to that about uh, some other time. But we want to go here. It's the latest version. Don't believe it's this one. So I'm downloading this one right here. Click on it. And we have our download. We want to open a folder. Right, we want to uh, open the middle here. Paste the file. Right click. I'm going to smart extract it here. There's that one. And we have extracted the file. Open it up. And the cool part of uh, Make Make Dance is a standalone program. There's no need to install anything. You just all you have to do is double click on it, and it will start loading. And you open up in a different window. Let me bring it over here. And this is the standard unmodded version of MD. So let's see. We have simple windows here. You have your scene window, which is right here. The way to control this one will be with your mouse. Right click and hold. You can rotate. Center mouse hold. Click and hold. You can pan up, down, left, right. Mouse, scroll forward and back. That's pretty much what you expect. You zoom in and zoom out accordingly. So this is pretty much the basics. If you don't like to use mouse, you can also use this ones. This will be your rotations. And those will be your uh, panning over and back. Okay, so you have this option and or your mouse. But for using the mouse, and this is for more gradual uh, movements. Another thing you want to do is when I get rid of these uh, grid lines, and that is up here. Access and that's deleted. Now, if I move around, you don't even notice anything because I don't have any reference points. All right. I always love to have the info button. This will give you FPS, and if you press play, uh, well, if you had some frames on it, it will show you your current frame count and your time frame counts. So we'll show you these in a bit. Over here will be your uh, register windows for your frames. So if you want to load in a model, you go down here to this brown section. Right now, all you have is your camera, which is that little dot. The red dot is your. Uh, center point of pivot so you're gonna rotate around that section so you move around there you're gonna pivot in that area you're gonna load in the model and the cool part is that this thing comes with basic models little uh, disclaimer of where the model came from and we have this one you go 
Now, you want to register a phone. So you move it, you select it, and move it here. All right. So now you notice we have different colors of the bones. So blue means unselected. Red means it's currently being selected. And green means it's being moved but has not been registered meaning if you go back a frame it will pop back up to its previous location so if you do a motion let's say there you need to go here you have to select it you need to register it boom now if you move your frames as i'm seeing the moving over here it's no longer moving so let's say go to frame 100 forward and now I move this one up there you reach that one go forward go eventually move up up until you reach that point so that's how you keyframe and you want to do any kind of animation you gotta do it individually register Say there, you move there fifty, and it's going to be very, very slow movement. All right, so we have a little stupid little animation there. So that's how you animate. You move a bone, register, move bone, register, move bone, register. If you already have a pre made uh, file, which is what most of you already do, you will go to your. Uh, let's see, do I have a file? No. All right. So let me go to my motions and all right so you have the motions you can grab the motion file which is gonna be a BMB file format and you can use as long as the model has been selected you can just drag it and drop it is are you sure yes it takes a little while and there you go when you press play it will start doing the, the animation and you can pan around whatever you want and there you go to drop in a uh, audio you will have to go find your uh, location you have your way format which for me is gonna be right here and let's drop this one just grab it as long as it's a wave we need this audio format and press play you have audio with it to adjust your camera you go here you move the camera to wherever you want you scan it register it pick a different frame go for 100 and let's go over here and let's go for uh 500 press enter we'll move your keyframe a little bit over there and zoom in and register that one so let's only go to 500 
500 over here and zero you press play and it's gonna play the frames only from frame zero up to frame 500 and here we can see a little camera movement with the appropriate uh, motion that you pour it in and here you see the keyframes and they're stopped exactly 500 and it stops and it's gonna go <coughs> back we go back to the beginning press this one this one will go to the very end of your uh, keyframes this one will select the next keyframe that's in razor and keep doing you keep going to the next one next one next one this one will just go one frame at a time so you don't like this model you go here select it and then you can press delete after you press it and boom it deletes it let's show you how to render this one let's say you did your home shutter motion the way you want it you go over here and and let's save it there and let's press type test one you grab your format mm -hmm. and then you select your compressor type raw is gonna be a huge as file i suggest you don't use it i suggest you get something else this one's my go-to and ideal one I press ok and that starts rendering it was really gone fast you go to your file location that one and we have it here in the downloads so here it is let's open that one up and then there's a little motion file so there you go yes like that and you create it in a new file for it. close close You want to delete the model, select it, and press delete. Boom. There you go. Now start all over again. Okay, with that, this is pretty much just the basics. Now we'll go into more detail in a different video. Alright, folks, catch you next time.